Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about this series. It's a monthly series I'm doing about the art of the dinner party. Now in each episode, I'll be dropping three original recipes using seasonal ingredients, but in the video, I'm gonna show you the art of the timing. I've worked at pop-up dinners, I went to culinary school, and I picked up a lot of tips that are used in restaurants on how to make things ahead of time so that you can actually go and enjoy. So, let's get started. Oh, I have to tell you what's on the September menu. Ooh, okay, so we're starting off with barrage and it has apples, figs, toasted pecans, and a balsamic glaze. This is so easy and you can make it ahead of time. For our main course, I'm making a Chilean sea bass with lemon brown butter and a breadcrumb mixture that has capers and parsley. And for dessert, we're making a plum galette with vanilla ice cream. I hope that sounds good to you because to me that sounds great. The first thing we're making is actually dessert because we can make this ahead of time. I bought pie crusts. In a restaurant, you have people making pie crusts in the pastry department. We're outsourcing that but feel free to make the dough on your own and then we're gonna use some plums they are still in season until October at least where I am and we also have some butter brown sugar and some apricot preserves cool beans cool beans <laughs> for plums they're not very hard to cut all you're gonna do is take your knife around open it like this and remove the pit we're gonna lay them flat like this and just cut into thin slices and what's really cool about the galette is you can make it with any fruit you want. We're just gonna cut the butter into some little cubes because we're gonna put it in the galette kind of like an apple pie, like how you place the butter cubes on the crust. And we're gonna keep these in the fridge so they stay nice and cold. All right, so we're just gonna unroll our pie crust. A little glaze on the bottom with a brush just so everything kind of sticks together. And we're gonna leave a border where the crust is so we can fold it. So what I'm doing, I'm just lining up my plum slices, but my sister-in-law makes these gorgeous galettes and I feel like I have to honor what she does because she nails it every time. All right, now I'm just gonna fold. How easy is this? Take some of this, brush it on top. We're gonna do this after it's baked and before it's baked. Totally forgot, but we are also using egg wash. This is gonna get it nice and golden brown. This is just one egg that I whisked up. I didn't add water or anything. Coarse brown sugar, this is optional. I just like that sugary crust since pie crusts are not naturally sweet. It's kind of a few butter cubes to keep the moisture. So I have a convection oven air fryer. I'm actually just gonna use that, but obviously this can go in the oven too. Our galette is done. It's literally perfect. Before I let it cool down, I'm gonna actually brush it with this glaze just one more time so it gets just even more beautifully glossy and set. And then we're gonna let it cool down to room temperature. Slide it up. We're gonna work on our salad now, which is burrata, apples, figs, a little bit of thyme, toasted pecans, and a balsamic glaze. I bought this pre-made. You can also make it on your own. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now we're gonna make our own candied pecans. You can buy these pre-made, but I have the ingredients, so I might as well. I'm gonna use some butter and pop it in the pan. And I'm on a medium heat. I chopped some pecans, add them to my pan, and we're gonna toast them first, then we're gonna add our sweetener and create that glaze. Now it smells nice and toasty. I'm gonna add a little bit of maple. We're gonna let this create a nice glaze. <laughs> I love candied nuts, I do. All right, these are done. I'm just gonna plate onto a sheet pan, line them up like that. We got very toasty, almost burnt, oops. And we're gonna let those cool down until they're nice and sticky. It is fig season and I could find fresh figs. I found green and black and I bought them both. Black, they're more sweet, a little more robust. The green ones are more tangy, a little less flavorful, but I wanted to contrast them together. I thought it was fun. Start with just thin slicing our fresh figs. They should be slightly squishy. Wee wee. Green figs also should feel a little squishy. Just have a different color, different vibe. Something about apples is they can oxidize and turn brown. So I'm gonna make a little solution to prevent that. I'm gonna add some lemon juice to a bowl with a little bit of water, some salt, and maple syrup to make this acidic, balanced, kind of sweet solution that I'll leave my apple slices in while I prepare the rest of the ingredients. 
just gonna thinly slice these. That's a seed, but we'll get rid of it. Mm. We're gonna put the apples in this solution. If you want, you can put on gloves to do this. You can use bare hands that are freshly washed or you can use tongs or kitchen tweezers, whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm gonna do a mix of my hands and tongs. So I'm just gonna take my apples out of their little solution and literally just scatter them on a plate. It's very easy. This is like a rustic look. And this is gonna be served family style. You can also serve it for each individual person. We are family. I'm just gonna alternate the figs and we're just layering. Something about this dish is it's also gluten-free, which is an added bonus. All right, so I'm gonna season this with a little glaze just so it hits all these ingredients. Some pecans, just so we have even layers. I'm gonna add some woodsy thyme. The best way to pull them out the stem is to hold them from the top and pull down. Cute. Now, we're gonna cut up some burrata. And you can wear gloves, I know, I know. Beautiful, binky bong. Right, if you have any extra figs, you can kind of just like layer them on top. A few more leaves of this. We're making this ahead of time. I'm gonna leave it just like this, cover it with plastic wrap or foil, and put it in the fridge so it stays nice and cool. And right before you're serving, here is what I would do. We're gonna add more glaze. We want it freshly on top like this. You can also add some olive oil. I'm gonna add a little bit just for color. And some pepper. We're gonna add our crunchy nuts. We don't put them on before because we don't want them getting soggy. The main course we wanna do a little bit closer to when your guests are coming over. There are two things you can do ahead of time and that's make your lemon brown butter and then also your toasted breadcrumb mixture. Once those are done, this is such an easy preparation. First, we're just gonna finely chop some parsley, give it a haircut, get as much of the leaves off the stem as I can. I'm just gonna coarsely chop. I do like to just gather all the herbs and just use my knife and go rock it back and forth. Let's get our lemon. Oh, god damn! Aww. We're gonna first zest our lemon. The zest of the lemon gives you a nice lemony aroma. Now we're just gonna chop our lemon. I'm gonna juice. I like to cut it into quarters when I juice it just to maximize getting juice out of each quarter. I'm gonna turn our burner on medium high heat and add all of our butter. I recommend using a light colored pan just so you can see the bottom. You don't wanna do it on too high of heat because you don't wanna burn the butter. I removed it from the heat because it was foaming and I smell a nice nutty smell so I knew it was turning brown but just stir it to see if the milk solids are turning brown and if they are this nice golden color you got yourself some brown butter look at that mmm the brown butter should kind of smell like nutty kind of like caramel and butter it's just amazing to make the lemon brown butter I'm going to add that lemon juice also, because I used unsalted, I'm using some salt. I'm gonna add it and mix it up. This should be a nice balance of vibrant, nutty, buttery, and a little salty. That was hot, I shouldn't have done that. For the breadcrumbs, I'm using olive oil. And when I add that brown butter to the fish, it will impart flavor in the breadcrumbs. Pepper, lots of salt I love. And just, oops, mix that all together. Toast them until they are golden, just golden, because they're gonna get a little more toasted in the oven. My capers, my lemon zest. Let it cool down, and then you're gonna taste it for seasonings. Adjust the salt and pepper to taste. You can also add a little bit of Dijon mustard if you want. It's always yummy. All the things for the fish are done, and this is kind of the crunch time assembly part. Dry off our fish. We're gonna season with some salt, some pepper. We're gonna put our fish in the dish. Make sure you just choose a snug dish. You can even use an oven safe skillet too if that's easier. For some aroma, I'm gonna put some thyme sprigs on the side. Brown butter. I want that flavor to be so rich. Now we're just gonna flatten them like this, okay? And that's it. Depending on the size of the fish, the time is different. There we go, bye bye. You could also pre-plate your side salads for the fish. So just throw your greens onto a plate and then when you serve it, you're just gonna dress the salad as you plate the fish. Look at that.
Ooh. For our salad, I'm just literally going to dress it with olive oil and add two lemon wedges right before serving. And then I'm gonna just, look at that. So these you just serve right away and you can serve them all at once because they're all done after being in the oven. And that is the September dinner party menu. We got the burrata salad. We have our fish, we have our galette, and I love how you can make so much of this ahead of time so your party will be as fun as possible. Thank you guys for watching this episode of The Dinner Party Show. Please let me know a name. I do not know what to call it yet, but I hope you loved these recipes. You can find them down below, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because I'll be trying to do this every single month so you always have a dinner party menu lined up. I'll see you guys in October. I can't wait, oh my God, give me pumpkins. Put me in a pumpkin with an apple on my head. Oh my God, I'm so excited.